begin bhakti uttama bhakti and in continuation of this <coughs> we have discussed discussed about explained about adu shabda tata sadu sam atha bhajan kriya tato anartha nivritti tato nishtha and tata ruchi after ruchi now the subject which is coming very deep and very hard but i want that you should have some uh, greed to know all this and to follow and if you have no greed or you are bound to fall down you will see and one cannot say you and i see everywhere that If they don't know this subject, asakti and bhav, or they have no taste, and they must. So many thousands coming and going, coming and going. So I want, I have come for this purpose by the order of it, my shiksha guru and guru, to give very powerful injections to you that they will give new life to you. Then we have discussed that there are two kinds of ruchi, vastu by sist anapekshini and apekshini. But still, that. वृत्ति अब कृष्ण सेवा वृत्ति इज देयर श्रद्धा इज देयर निष्ठा इज देयर रुचि इज देयर दे आर नॉट इमर्स्ड दे विल बी इन देयर स्टेज 
But even there will be transferred into Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav, Prem, Sneh, Man. What I told you? Clear. Perhaps not clear. You. Clearly. What I told you? You understood? Not fully. I told you. Huh. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, Srila Gurudev explained just now, we are discussing... If you are not understanding very high deep <coughs> subject, so you can ask those who want to know. About Adho Shraddha Tata Sadhu Sangha, in, about this slok, today Gurudev want to discuss about very deep thing, Asakti. Just like in the material world, Srila Kaviraj Goswami has explained, like, Sugar can. After that, there is juice. After that, transformation, molasses, then sugar. When sugar is there, there is no presence of sugar can or juice. But in the spiritual life, when you are doing bhajan, your sraddha is still there, the propensity to serve Krishna, that Krishna Seva Vasana is still there, and moreover, bhajan kriya is there. Sadhu Sangha is there, steadiness also there, ruchi of taste also there, then when the taste will be matured, then it will transfer into asakti or attachment. But previous will be present there, still including in asakti. Anything to understand? You? What? So all the... All the prior stages are All also stages. present. Previous stages. Fully present in a sakti, not like exactly the example of the sugar cane juice where they have gone. Like sugar cane juice, it can be transferred into gourd. Gourd can be transferred into sugar. Sugar to be sitotpa. But previously it stage will go. But bhakti is transcendental. And all the stages of this bhakti are transcendental. They will be there in formal form, but even transforming, transforming. Mm -hmm. Then, if that ruchi test is now paripakva, mature, then it will transfer in asakti. Asakti means attachment. attachment. Then you cannot be, oh, uh, cannot you be without asakti. Always doing kirtan, smaran, and chanting, hearing hari katha, you will have more asakti. Without that you will be mad. So this is very high class of. These are of two kinds. What? Taste in ruch, uh, in sadhan bhajan and taste in bhajaniya, versatable. Hmm? Oh, without hearing hari katha, without chanting, without remembering, no one to tell that oh, why you are not doing it. Always in it. How? Evang prata sapriya nama kritya. Jata Nurago Gita Chutta Vuchyai Hasotta Koro Dati Aklayati Nityati Lokavaya All this. They are mad. Like Sudhya Goswami. Like others, Narada Goswami. Everywhere. What doing? Taking his bina. And what doing? Narada Muni Bajaya Bina. Radhika Mamana Narada Muni Bhaja Dina Radhika Mamana Like this always, Radhika Raman, Radhika. If Krishna and Radhika will hear, oh, they will also be mad. <laughs> and for why? Oh, Krishna lips and Radhika lips where? Where the, his devotees are singing. Nam Tashtami Vaikuri. 
नाहम निर्दयी च मतलब भक्त जात्रा गायन थी तत्त्व स्थान निराय इफ यू विल डू लाइक दैट ओ कृष्ण इज बॉन्ड टू कम एंड टू हियर सो फर्स्ट इन भजन एंड देन व्हाट एंड देन भजन ही हो कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु नित्यानंद प्रभु इन भजन ही भी कम इट विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड बट बट ये so much uh, attachment. attachment in bhajan always and bhajaniya and then what it, they will do he radhe braj devi ke chalat he nand suno kuta di banne kuta ho shanta vit sarvatau khedai महाबिफलो वंदे रूप सनातन क्राइम विटरली हॉर्ड मेल्टिंग ओ वेर इज कृष्ण वेर इज कृष्ण वेर इज कृष्ण वेर इज राधिका ओ राधिका वेर यू आर ओ ललिते विशाखे वेर यू आर लाइक दिस डबल बी मैड लाइक रूप सनातन रघुनाथ आई लॉ You can hear, but your goal is this. I'm telling all these things that you should decide your goal. Without goal, nothing is there. So you should make very strongly this will. So <coughs> this asakti stage is very confidential and very gumbhir. Great. Great. <coughs> My friend, the like. He was like mad, mad always. And what telling? What Radhika told? Ayi dina daya drana matura na kada balok kese hridayam tadalo ka kataram dayi tapham meti. Oh Krishna. Hmm? इम्पोर्टमेंट ऑफ मर्सी ओशन ऑफ मर्सी बट नाउ आई एम फीलिंग दैट यू हैव गन टू मथुरा एंड यू आर विथ दाइफ ऑफ यंग एंड यू आर राधिका इज विथ वेपिंग एंड बिकमिंग मैन Or oh, if you will delay one day even on, and we will return to Vrindavan, you will see that Radhika is not there. Hmm? Nothing is there. Please come. Are you doing that there? Nath, he Mathura Nath. Oh, you were Brajanath, but now what you have become? Mathura Nath. Mathura Nath. Please come to return there. Hmm? Why? Why? So please, Gopi. No, what? Gopi are what telling? Oh, there is none to serve you like us. For service, they are beating. Kadava look to say, Hridayam. Oh, I am not seeing you. At once, you. Hey, Krishna. Hey, Chapal. Hey, Karunai. Kasindo. Hey. हे दैत हे भुवन कबंधो हे कृष्ण हे चपल हे हे नाथ हे रमण नयनाभिरा हा हा कदा लाइक श्रीमती रथ का वर्जित इन फॉर हा नाथ हा रमण प्रेष्ट क्वाश क्वाश महा व्यास्त्री कृपणाया सखे सन्निधि सो विश्व ट्राई टू रिमेम्बर ऑल दिस थिंग इफ यू आर नॉट डेवलपिंग योर कृष्ण कॉन्सेस नो रस विल कम एंड रस विल बे स्टॉप टाइम यू थिंक अवर ऑलवेज हाउ वेर आई शुड मैरी Where I should be sense gratifications, and only this idea will come. And when you will chanting and weeping like this, oh, this will go on. 
I have invited you all for these things, that some great should come. And not invited you all that you should come, I will fix your marriage and I will do your marriage. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so don't come with this wish to, to select any boyfriend or girlfriend. But I see this idea. <laughs> so try to give up and chant and remember. I know that when you are in the home of your mother, you have promised that when we will go to this land, we will all be chant. Nothing doing at all. And what is becoming? Oh, quite about it. We are engaged in services, working, making money, sense, gratification, and so many things. So I have come to rem remind you all that for this purpose, Krishna has sent, not due to your past activities. Why? Your activities are not so that you should come as a human, but out of mercy. Because he is open of mercy, he has given this form of human to all. Nothing to do any anything else. Has Narada anything, any position, Sukhdev Goswami? Even not. No Langoti, nothing. Huh? Nothing. No. What? <coughs> anything for management after whom? After me, who will? come in my Guru Parampara. <laughs> nothing, no arrangement, nothing, no management. <laughs> so I request you to, oh, what develop your Krishna consciousness. For this I have invited you all. Jai. 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 I remember, I remember, but my Shiksha Guru, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, in his last moment, he gave ma many, so many very uh, strong injections that you should keep this injection. And where needed, you should give this powerful injection to all, especially my, dis my uh, disciples. I'm very happy that all are coming. And I will give it uh, without any cost. Without cost. <laughs> Always available to me. You can come and eat. Oh, no. No No, no. No cost. No fee for injecting also. <laughs> but don't fear. I see. Oh, some are fearful for that. Oh, Maharaj will inject me. And he will tell that you should be. Folded hair. <laughs> so don't fear all. <laughs> now, uh, I told you two kinds of asana. Now you should have this goal. Anyhow, my goal is to obtain. Uh, uh, ruchi and asa. And if you will be matured on this, then all oh, very class of Suddha Sattva, that is Bhava Arati will bound to come. It will come. Must come. And what is this? What is this? Well, is the mercy of Krishna or his associates or Srimati Radhika Harsha. That mood will come. There is no other means. No other way. They will come. There are two things to understand. That we have heard that in Swati Natcha, the constellation of Swati, rain comes. Rain comes. And that water is goes in a banana tree and it becomes camphor automatically in the head of elephants and it becomes mukta. Gajimukta what? 
all them for all. Pans. Pans. And if it goes in the hips of cows, gorochana, very pressure, very costly thing. And when it goes in the western cells, and it becomes pearls, very valuable, more than kahinur hira, and snake who then money, money, and bamboo bansalocha. So, someone has idea that by association you can come by oh, in Dasharas, Santaras, Sakharas, Vasalaras and Madhuras. And it can be changed. But you should have a strong faith that they cannot be changed. What is in your constitutional form. There is something, a rush, in your constitutional form. Either dasya, sakya, vasan, or One of them, there must be something. But now it is covered with maya. I have to come to help you to remove that maya. So, there is something in the constitutional form of jiva. They have some many things, but not manifested. Not manifested. Hmm? Not manifested. Like by any example you can know. Oh, there is Angamadi. Flowing very gently. Very powerful water, you know. And on this both side of Ganges, very fertile land, very fertile land. So you planted a oh, mango seed, a tetulvane, tamarind, or jackfruit, or thorn tree, bubble, and so many trees. <coughs> Same water is given. Same air is there. Same sun is giving light. Some same gardener is watering. Everything is there, same. But why mango tree gives mango? Why bubble tree gives thorns? Why jackfruit like jackfruit? Why not coming the same thing in all seeds? So we are like, oh, like place, Ganges water, like all these things. And if, oh, so many kinds of devotees, devotees of Sakharas, Basalaras, Madhuras, you are in, you are in association of them, and they are here making here your katha. Krishna Katha. Hmm? So fruit will not come in one way. Like one. Like mango, jackfruit, tetrin, tamarind and others coming from their own sheets. So we have something in our constitutional form, any of these five rushes. So if there is a association of that sadhu, is of dasyaras. Up to dasyaras he can help. If a devotee, high degree, Mahabhagavat or Bhagavat, he is of sakharas, <coughs> he can help you up to He cannot help you in madhuras. And if any devotees are madhuras, he can help all. all but in the end he will give what? What you have in your constitutional form. He cannot change. Never and never. Support is needed. One thing more to understand. This high class of Suddha Swatta, we will define that what is uh, Suddha Swatta. 
coming through home by uh, the devotees who are now matured and they have received the prem, sneh, man, prane in Golok Vrindavan. Krishna or Mahaprabhu. Like Rup, Manjari, Rati Manjari, in the form of Rup Goswami Sanatana this Suddhasvata always in, in the constitutional form of oh, associates of Krishna Chandra Radhika. That is called, they, are, they are called Rakatmik Jan. Rakatmik associates of Radha and Krishna. And from there, through devotees like Raganuga, devotees, it will descend in the heart of what is Suddha Sattva, Arana Maharaj? Come on here. Yes. This is in one line. Suddha Sattva Visheshatma. Om Gana Timaranasa Gyanandana Salaka Chakshur Nuritam Dena Tasvaisi Gurave Namaha. I think you are, I am telling in very easy language. You are all as friends. If not, then you cannot. But all should hear very attentively. Don't give your mind here and there. Srila Gurudev ordered me to describe briefly the meaning of Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma. This phrase has come from the definition of Bhav Bhakti given by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. <coughs> Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma Prema Suryangsu Samyabhak Ruchibi Chitamasunya Kridaso Bhav Uchite. This is the definition of Bhav Bhakti. What is Bhav Bhakti? It's not any kind of material emotion. If we want to know about Shuddha Sattva, we should understand the meaning of the word Sattva. Sattva means existence. This Sattva has different levels. There is Mishra Sattva. First we should know Sattva means existence. After this, Mishra Sattva. Then Shuddha Sattva. Vishuddha Sattva. Hmm? So Sattva means existence, and Mishra Sattva means when that existence is a manifestation of Sattva, Raja and Tama. As we find in this world, the consciousness of all the Jivas is in, on the platform of Mishra Sattva, because their consciousness is affected by the movements of Rajagun, Tamagun. Hmm? Gradually, as they rise up, Tadarajas, Tamobhava, Kamalo, Vajaste, Chaitarita, Navidam, Sthitam, Sattva, Prasiddhati, as they become free from lust and attachment, these things coming from Tama and Raja, they come to Sattva. That is the pure stage, the uh, Shuddha Sattva, pure stage of existence, wherein the modes of mature of nature are not manifest. Yet, in the stage of pure existence, there is no perception of the transcendental variety. So the platform in which Krishna, his pastimes, his associate, his transcendental form, qualities and everything is manifest. Sattvam vishudham basudeva shabditam. Sattva alamba para sattva vishuddha sattva. Govindam adipurujam tamam bhajami. In Srimad Bhagavatam, in Brahma Sanghita, it is described that Krishna, his name, form, qualities, pastimes, his abode and all of his associates are of the quality of vishuddha sattva, supremely pure existence. In his commentary on Brahma Sanghita also, Srila Bhakti Nautako explains that pure existence which is possessed of form, of location, of activities is called Vishuddha Sattva, supremely pure existence. Therefore, this Bhava Bhakti is a phenomena which is of that nature, supremely pure existence. And it has function. In this pure existence, there are two Britis of the Swarup Shakti. One is called Samvit Briti and one is called Ladini Briti. Samvit Briti means the um, consciousness or awareness 
Sambandha Gyan, knowledge of relation with Krishna. And Ladini Briti is Ananda, Ananda Shakti, joy. When the function of Samvit and Ladini, or Chit and Ananda, are combined together, this is called Bhakti Shakti. Essence of that. Mm. When the very essence of Samvit and Ladini are combined together, this is called Bhakti, or this is called Bhav. This finds its highest the manifestation, where? In the Mahabhav of Srimati Radhika. So she is the source of all types of love and affection. In the highest form it is in Radhika. Therefore it has been stated, Shuddha Sattva Vishesh Atma. This Bhav Bhakti is Vishesh, a special manifestation of the essence of the Samvit and Ladini. It is there in the heart of Raga Mikjan, especially Radhika, and then all the other, all the associates of Radha and Krishna, beginning with Radhika, it is in them. And in them, it is blazing like a sun. But one tiny particle, one ray of their mood, when it descends <coughs> through Guru Parampara into this world, Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma Prema Surya. Prema Surya means the son of Prem. But Bhav is what? Prema Surya Anksu. One small ray of that ragatmic prem descends to this world, prema soryansu samyabak, and it is reflected into the heart of the jiva here. When that touches him, then ruchi bi chitamasrinya kridaso bhava uchite. The heart of the living entity melts. Hmm? Just as ice melts and becomes water, so in the same way, the living entity, his heart melts and becomes. How? Hmm? And it becomes. Oh, three types of ruchi. Here Rupa Goswami Padi is explaining. Ruchi bi chitta What is that ruchi? What is that ruchi? That ruchi has been described. This taste comes in the form of three types of abhilas. Three types of intense hankering. The first type is called Bhagwat Prapt Abhilas. The intense hankering to attain one's Ishtadev. Hmm? Hey Rad, hey Braja Devi K. Oh Shimati Radhika, where are you? Oh Sh the Krishna Chandra, where are you? Very intense hankering to attain them. But only to attain them is not enough. The heart will be melting with another intense desire that is called Anukul Abhilas. The intense hankering to render some service to them, which is very, very favorable. What they require at any particular time. Which will give them so much happiness. Tambulapana Pada Madana Payodana Bisara Dibi Vrindaranya Mayasarim Pratya Yashtoshanti Priya. Prana Prashta Saki Kilada Pikilas and Kochita Bumika. Kelly Bumish U Rupa Manjari Mukasta Dasika Sangsre. Raghunath Daska Swami Pad. He prays, I am taking shelter of Sri Rupa Manjari and those who are in her group. Why? Because from them this Bhav Bhakti will come. And then the desire. Anukul Abhilas, to render some very favorable service, like Tambul Arpana, preparing Tambul for Radha and Krishna, Padamadana, massaging their lotus feet when they become fatigued, Payo Dana Abhisara bringing water, taking Radhika for Abhisara to meet with Krishna in a secret place in the forest. So this desire, Anukul Abhilas, means the desire to render Anukul Seva. But, oh, not enough, oh, more melting will come. What is that? That is that ruchi is called so hard abilas. It's not so hard to remember. <laughs> Try to remember this word. So hard abilas. So hard has come in Sanskrit from the word surit. Surit means um, a friendship, very intimate and close friendship. Hmm? What Radhika may not tell to others. Oh, may she tell to me and give me that service uh, that others will not see. So this is called so hard abilas. Not enough to attain one's Ishtadev, not enough only to serve, but to have a very intimate mood of uh, friendship, very close surit. Hearts are very close together. So when these three types of taste, or three types of abilas, intense hankering, manifest from the heart, uh, the heart melts and they come out. Mm? So by this verse, Srila Rupa Goswami has indicated two things. Shuddha Sattva Vishesh Atma that the vritti of Swarup Shakti will come down from the Nitya Parikas of Radha and Krishna. And when it touches your heart, your heart will melt and some uh, abilas will come out. So 
That is described in the second part of the verse, Ruchi Be Chetamas Rinyan. So what Srila Gurudev is describing about Swati Nakshatra, in other words, that some power is in the rain of Swati Nakshatra, and some power is also in the receptacles of the rain of Swati Nakshatra. So both of these points have been explained in this verse of Srila Rupa Goswami, that something will come from the Nitya Parikas of Radha and Krishna, and something is there in your heart which will come out on the touch of their mood. This is called Bahav Bhakti. Hearing this, some devotees, they want that this mode should come at once in me. And sometimes they want to expose all these things artificially. When it is come through that line that we explain, or then real thing will come. Real mood will come. But when that mood is not in you, and you are exposing for others to see or for praise, that they should know that I am in this. If that your mood is not like that, and it has not come from the proper channel through Ragatmik and then Raganuga to you. And if it is not Visheshatma, then what will be? They will be called Sahajiya. So I want that you also that be Sahajiya. Always follow your Adhikar, stay and do accordingly. Don't expose, don't try. What is coming naturally, then it is okay. With a dhanya, with tinatapi slogs that fall in, then it is okay. But if you will do artificially anything to show them, no, you will be sahajiya and after some time you will be missing. So always be careful. There are some symptoms of pure this mode, bhav, and that word, chanti, abhyakta kalatam, virakti, irmanu sunyata, asa bandha, samutha kantha, namu gane, sadari, asakti, tada gunakhyane, priti tad vasatya stali, ityadu bhava, sur bhavam kurajane. Even a anku, a sprout of bhav is there in your heart. Then these symptoms will come. What? And you should get whether these symptoms are uh, even in a smallest cut, autumn flight, or not. And we are that a standard of bhakta. We are are not in sixty years, twenty years. 50 years, or where we were, we are still there, full of honor. So try to. This sloki is like a barometer of bhakti. Go on. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Dhyanam Janashalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Vajade Namaha so Srila Gurudev <clears throat> is enlightening us about the characteristics and the qualities which are naturally exhibited by someone who has come to this stage of development in his bhakti, which is the stage of bhav. <coughs> so <clears throat> Srila Rupa Goswami has written this verse uh, describing the eight different symptoms, nine, sorry, nine different symptoms uh, that one uh, experiences in this stage. And these, as Gurudev said, these symptoms are manifested naturally and automatically in someone. They are not artificially uh, displayed. So, <clears throat> first, he says, Kshantir avyartha kalatvam viraktir manashunyata. Kshantir means that he is constantly tolerate, completely tolerant of all conditions. Nothing 
can shake him from his constant engagement in the service of Krishna. He is so spontaneously absorbed that any kind of adverse situation cannot shake him at all. So, kshantir, avyartakala dvam, next symptom. Like Prahlad Maharaj, Haridat Thakur. Hmm. Huh? He was bitten in 22 <coughs> markets. Prahlad was given poison and so many things. But they were still like that. Shanti, always. Jayatma, Shampashi huh? In any huh? situation, oh, they will not be deviated from that. <clears throat> the next symptom, it tells that this Bhav Bhakta, he does not want to see that even one single moment of his time goes by without constantly in, uh, engaging in shravam, kirtam, smaran, bandhanam, padasevanam, fully absorbed in tasting and relishing the nectar of Krishna's nam, guna, rupa, lila. This is called avyarta kalatvam. He doesn't want to waste a single moment. Kshantir uh, avyarta kalatvam viraktir manashunyata. He is completely detached, virakti. He has no attachment to the sense objects of this world. They are completely dead to him. They have no life, no attraction at all. Viraktir mana shunyata. What virakti Have we virakti detachment from sense gratification? And worldly desire, any of you? Then how that mood will come? Be ready for this. And if you are not ready, bhakti is so far. So try first all these things. Your whole attachment should be given to Krishna. Nowhere else. Or Guru or any devotee who is like this. No sense gratification, no worldly attachment. He has no time to think about them. Then this mood is there, otherwise not. Very clearly you should think about this. I call for these things that remember. And if there is anything, oh, I have assured that my Guru Dev has given and Swamiji. I will give you that sword and you should support all your attachment. So the next symptom, uh, Mana Shunyata. Uh, mana Shunyata means that he is completely devoid of any desire for praise. Uh, and adoration and distinction coming to him from other persons. Just like the verse of Shikshashtakam, which Srila Gurudev quoted, So here, the devotee has amanina. Uh, he doesn't desire any kind of respect or praise from anyone. His heart is devoid of this desire. Huh? And on the contrary, uh, <clears throat> mana, mana dena. He's always giving appropriate respect to all others, seeing that Krishna is residing within their heart. So in the stage of bhav, this quality automatically manifests there. And he has the deepest type of humility, natural humility displayed. Viraktir mana shunyata. Asha bandha sumutkanta. Asha bandha means that he has an uh, unbreakable hope, asha, that Krishna will bestow his causeless mercy upon him. This hope is constantly there within his heart. And he knows that Krishna is a causeless ocean of mercy, karuna sindhu, and that he is always giving his mercy to all the souls who are fallen within this world. So the Bhav Bhakta is constantly praying for the mercy of Krishna, asha bandha. Samutkanta. That, oh Krishna, I, I must attend Krishna love. I have hope. You should think like that. 
that after some time from my sovereign, in this human life, we will attain that love, which is very high, very high. <coughs> Must I will. Because our Guru Bhargar or and others, they have attained this. So why not myself? So I must achieve this hope and move. Ashabandha Samutkanta. Samutkanta means that he has a very intense eagerness. Constantly he's uh, desiring that this perfectional stage will be attained by him. Samutkanta. He's always praying, offering so many prayers from the core of his heart that this stage can be attained by him and he can serve Krishna with praying. So that is the uh, six symptoms, Samutkanta. No, more than this. <coughs> you think, when, when it will come? When it will come? Always hankering. This is Samutkanta. When it will come? Oh, still I have done nothing. But when it will come? And he will exercise all bhakti limbs always, and weeping. This is called Samutkanta. Oh, I must attend, and it will come in due time. <coughs> so I should be idle, idle unsleeping. Oh, this is not. So Samutkanta. Namagane? Namagane Sada Ruchi. So, yesterday we talked about the stage of Ruchi, of taste, that the devotee is constantly desiring to taste and relish the nectar of Krishna's name, form, qualities, pastimes. So, he, this is the symptom in the stage of Bhav that Nam Gane Sadaruchi. He always wants to be chanting constantly, 24 hours daily. He wants to be chanting and remembering the holy names of Krishna. His tongue does not want to stop chanting for a single moment. So that is called Nam Gani Sada Ruchi. Always he has Ruchi and taste for the holy name. Then Asaktis Tad Gunakyane. Uh, this means that he has deep, deep attachment for describing uh, all the wonderful qualities, Gunakyane, the qualities of Krishna. Uh, just like described in Sri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, that Krishna has 64 transcendental qualities that are manifested in unlimited degrees. So the devotee is very attached to describing these qualities and the transcendental beautiful form and pastimes of Krishna. Asaktis tad gunakyane pritis tad vasatis And the devotee has priti, deep love and affection for all the places where Krishna lived uh, when he manifested his pastimes here within this material world, in the Prakat Dham, in Gokul Dham, how he manifested his divine abode here. So just like the Goswamis and Srila Gurudev described, that they were constantly going here and there in Braj, He Radhe Vrajadevike, Chalalite He Nanda Suno Kutaha, Sri Govardhana Kalpapada Patale, Kalindi Vane Kutaha, <coughs> O Krishna, O Radhe, where are you? Are you on the bank of the Jamuna now? And they go to the bank of the Jamuna searching, searching for Radha and Krishna. Everywhere in Braj they're going to the places where Krishna performed his leelas, Govardhan, going to uh, Varshanadham, and all the different places in Braj Mandala, or Navadweep Dham. So in this way, the devotee has very deep attachment and affection for all these places where Krishna performed his pastimes. But still, the highest place is Vrindavan. And in Vrindavan, Govardhan more. And in Govardhan, Shamkun and Radhakun. And moreover, Krishna always liked to be with his most beloved Srimati Radhika in Radha Kunda. So we should try that, oh Krishna, oh Radhika, when you will fulfill my wish, that I will always on the bank of Radha Kunda. Radha Kunda is not uh, anything else from Srimati Radhika Harsha. No difference at all. In some cases, 
Oh, Radhika, Radha Kund is more superior. superior than Radhika. We can go and see and take her, pray there. But where to find to Radhika? Like Krishna has made his whole, he has invested his whole power, whole mercy, beauty, and all past tense in the names. So names are more powerful than Krishna. So we should try to know. This is the highest. There, oh, when well, my fortune will be, I will be most fortunate to be. <laughs> if not by bodily, bodily, oh, then by mind, you should try to be there. But these are the eight, nine, nine, nine oh, what? One uh, more means uh, lush, luxury. Symptoms of but so many things are to know. I will explain how to attain. But in the midtime, oh, you should have a refreshment and test a kiss and go. Now you are And also, oh. Uh, Radhakan Prabhu and Nishan Prabhu, they should be ready. About this? Yes. Why? The devotees in Australia want to ask a question. Gurudev, an Australian devotee who is listening to our webcast is asking a question. The question is from Subol Krishna Das Prabhu. He says, Naturally, we have this desire for marriage or material arrangement, although we want to attain experience of what Srila Gurudev is describing about Krishna consciousness. What can we do? Naturally, we have no. <laughs> 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 this comes from where? from the love of Radha and Krishna, love, actually this is. And we are servant of Radha and Krishna, made servant. So there is it. But you know that reflection, perverted reflection, oh, quite opposite. So in opposite it seems that naturally we are free, but it is quite wrong. Understand? Now? Nice
I want that this to be like that and preach my mission. They are free where? Especially by this kirtan, this kind of, and by book distribution. You should not think that book distribution is Arushidha, Arsang, Siddha, anything. Because our whole parampara from beginning, Brahma, eh, he what, what he did? Brahma Sangita and all Vedas from four books. What is that? Both books used to be. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Isma has desire also for book distribution. Though three inner desire, one desire of the book desire, so could not do so. He came in Mahaprabhu to distribute Brahma Sangita, Krishna Karnami, he came in Mahaprabhu form. Yeah. So, I want to talk uh, Before this, Markandya Prabhu can do Kirtan Yemi. And after that, can you do any Kirtan? Playing with the Bhakti. And then we will make that. Hare Krishna, for the kind attention of devotees, some more devotee has requested for initiation. Initiation is tomorrow 8 a.m. So devotees who desire for initiation, they should not delay. They must arrive in temple room over there before 8 a.m. And Monday will be fire sacrifice headed by Sipadaranda Maharaj. It's supposed to be take place in Tuesday, but so many devotees leave Monday after Gurudev class. So fire sacrifice will be Monday, and Monday's program will be Tuesday. With the class was in itinerary, it will be Monday, and Monday will be Tuesday. Hare Krishna. But our, not, today, not our classes are finished. I will speak more soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.